Sometimes a tactic just needs a simple tweak. And it's got to do with vertical movement in some tactics. And we've got a 4-2-3-1 today. It comes from Elect 2 Laser. It was covered during a live stream for Bring Your Tactics on today's show. Chigo, my good friend, he has edited that segment down to something that I think you might find enjoyable. <music> My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. So, Alec, your your tactic first up. Okay, so you've got a 4 2 3 one. Again, once again, I'm just going to play the game. And then we will look at your tactic. So, what, but let's try and understand what this tactic is meant to do, right? So, the first thing I look at is this. You're playing a, you're playing the opponent's half. This is a high engagement tactic. You're trying to play in the opponent's third. So, you got to be very careful in the back line. Um, when you do something like this positive your players will be taking some risk as far as uh when they are going to bomb up and down as well uh but you got to be careful with uh slow defenses because this you can't you can't really do this if your defenders are slow and you also need defenders who can tackle like the central place centrally placed uh, defenders they have to be able to tackle because what will happen when the ball goes between your lines is these and i found this out by playing fantasy draft okay because fantasy draft you got all kinds of players right so i went and tried out because you don't get this chance and this is one of the reasons why I like fantasy draft I like to try players with very good mentals and poor tackling and I put them in these positions you know what happens they just track but they don't tackle so what's going to happen is the player is going to run backwards and the faster player is just going to go past him and you'll be screaming going why doesn't he tackle why doesn't he tackle so so you have to be you have to make sure that you these two guys aren't just fast if they're fast what they will do is they'll track They'll track the player and he might not get a shot off, right? So this is what you have to remember. So this is very important when you play with a higher defensive line. Okay, so what have we got here? Wingbacks, wingbacks. Okay, this makes sense because it's a 4-2-3-1. So you actually have a problem um, linking this group and this group together, right? So these two are your, uh, what, what we like to call a pivot in the game. Because the game will pivot around these two players, okay? So wingbacks make some sense. However, they run with the ball which increases the importance of these two players. So the moment these guys become wingbacks, these guys become them important. Of course, you can play with fullbacks if you're a weaker team, right? If you play with fullbacks, that's fine. But then again, you got to run the you run the risk of needing one of these players to be there, be playing on a defense duty, or they come deep to get the ball. Because these fullbacks will need some players. I mean, they will need players to give them, um, you know, to, to receive the ball. So we've got overlap left, overlap right, play our defense. Okay, fine. We'll, I'm quicking. I don't I don't care. I don't know who these players are from Jack, right? So we're just gonna watch. And um I've never played with this team before, so I have no clue. <laughs> we'll find out very soon. Okay, and then we'll figure out what's going right or wrong with the tactic based on the players, right? Okay. All right, so we'll watch this on say extended highlights, right? Okay, first thing we see is uh, where's Deportivo? Are we Deportivo? <laughs> A good idea for me to know who's my goal, which team is okay. So this is us blue, uh, right to left. Look at this. I want to go back, man. This is too, too quick. Okay, from kickoff, right? So this is the full wing back. Look at that. This is what the wing back bring gives to your game. Man, he's already up. This is good. This is good, right? So if you only see this, it passes one test, which is he needs options, right? So he's got the options. The only problem was. There was nobody arrive. I mean, players were arriving or not arriving. Um, you got two inside forwards going this way. You got AP. The only problem with this kind of a tactic is you see this one, two, three. They were very attacking. So this AP, he's gonna have to be God's AP. He's gonna be. A, he's gonna have to be super, super good. Oh, he's got come see to get a ball. Right, late. This is a very good AP. It could work with this team. If you want to play with AP, those are the two traits you want. You want him to come deep to get the ball, and you want him to get into the box. So basically, he's like a very active yo-yo. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna drift around a lot. So and then your set pieces. I haven't checked your set pieces yet. I'm not gonna check the set pieces. So this is actually a good position to be in. But now we've got three attack, four attack duties now. Right? Who's he gonna find? Every one of them is attacking space. You see, the options run out. Right now, this is a set piece, right? So let's just. 
I, I want to see one build up play. Right, so got three attack. The problem when you have three attack duties is it's nice. You're 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 whacking, um, and you can have those kind of situations where everybody's out of position. They look at that one, two, three. Everybody got into the box. He's gone in now. Who's who is he gonna pass the ball to? He's gonna have to play a killer pass to any one of these three, right? So he's gonna have to. He, so a player in this position then needs to have like he. Barrios, this is the wing back now. Look, look where the others have ended up. You know this inside forward. This is Monroe. The other one's forward. Uh, AP is here. He is not, he's probably not. AP has got three players on him. So he's got to play the pass through the line. So this wing back has to deliver the ball early. Right, that's the first thing we notice. Yeah, he can't, he's, he's, he's going to run out of options, right? So either he delivers the ball early or, um, yeah, or you just hope that he finds somebody to pass the ball to. There we go. It's now it's looking slightly better, the transition. But we still have a problem. Everybody's running too far forward. There's no verticality in your tactic except for one thing. Everybody's running forward. That's the only verticality we're getting. We're not getting anybody holding up the ball and say, okay, here, let's move the defense around. Especially when they've got this, they've got this set up. So the AP here is like having issues. So now we're playing so high up the pitch. This guy, ah. the good thing about advanced forward, you can even advance forward here, but his problem is going to be... Okay, the problem with this advanced forward is he, you, you're a much higher line. I mean, much higher line of engagement just says this guy starts to press, everybody else follow, right? Okay. Um... We got to get this guy to... Let's just put him on support, right? So now he drops deep. Now he he hangs out with his tree. And we got another AP here. Okay, this is... This is this this doesn't make sense. Okay. I would... Because if you have this AP going... It's better... Okay, I would just go... Okay, one, I could go Mazala. Right? This guy goes this way. Okay. Then you get this, you get a slightly different dynamic. Okay, this guy will run into the half spaces. It opens up this whole area. So you got to make sure that this guy has got good um, defending. Okay, all right. He can't, he can't win. Okay, let's just watch what happens, right? Okay. So you got Mazala, we got AP on support. Right, so these two might work together now. Because so far, the, the, the AP has been... Um, Having problems, right? I mean, we've been dom dominating the match only because we've been camping in the opponent's half. Okay. So now, nothing is happening. Okay. What we do is now we've got these two we versus these two, right? Okay. okay. What we're going to do is we're going to um, become a bit more patient. Okay. Okay. Let's go this. We drop this. We go work ball into box. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I want to leave this because... Um, I don't change too much. Mm, these guys are running for it. I want to get the wing backs into play. I want these guys to get into the box. Uh, where does it make sense to do that? Mm. We'll do it here. What? You got Max. You got a lot of PIs. Okay, you got... Okay, he's he is basically putting pressure on them. Okay. Now, if you're going to do this, right, where you're putting pressure on their wing backs, right, Okay, what we're going to do here is different. We're going to turn this guy into a Shadow Striker. We're going to turn you into a... Uh, I'm going to turn him into a DLF on support. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> all that nonsense after that. DLF on support, we're going to turn him into a Shadow Striker. Or Traquatista. Both can work, right? Okay. Okay, so... Okay, we go to over Traquatista. This is even more fun, okay? Now we've got this guy dropping. This guy, okay, he might drop deep, right? But he's already got to come deep to get the ball. So we don't need that dalgit. Okay, so... Got Shadow Striker, okay? This guy drops. These two will swap. These two will come inside. These two will come up the pitch. Get this? So these two guys are going to bomb up the pitch. These guys are going to hold their position until they get into the pitch. Okay, so we've got a tempo. Um... Okay, we're working the ball into the box. So that's the only change I'm making to this tactic, right? Okay, this is a very aggressive tactic. We're just going to keep it uh, playing the same way. Okay. I won't change too much. 
Because I there are some people who like this kind of football, right? But we want verticality. We want players moving in, out, in, out. We want to create a vertical movement in our tactic, especially when they've got a DM here. We want that DM to be pulled out of position. So you see what's happened here. Look at where they come. So now you see the inside for us, the wing backs in position. We get a goal. You see, this is what we want to see. Okay, we want to see those inside forwards being able to run into the box because there's space now. All right, so we got a nice verticality going on. As when I say when I talk about verticality, what am I talking about? I'm talking about roles in front that do this. They move up and down like that. So this is not bad. Now we've got a different nice setup. Oh. Okay. Okay, what else can we do? You can actually turn this guy into a pressing forward. They're very, they're very nonce. They're bloody annoying to play against. The uh, ILF is support is one. Then you got pressing forward, right? They keep they they keep those uh um they basically are annoying because they are just next to the they they are running around and they are putting pressure on the defenders when they when you when they have the ball, right? So you see what he does? He goes straight for the defenders. They are forced into clearing the ball. <laughs> so you get back the ball and then you get all the movement all over again. Right? Bang. See, simplicity. We don't want to change too much of the tactic. We just want to keep the flow, right? Okay. So all you got to do is make simple changes. Understand what those changes have done. Uh, why we are making those changes. That's all. Because we want to get others involved in the play. I'm not changing too much of this tactic because I think it's a decent tactic. I like the idea of the inside forwards coming in. But what we're doing is we're putting a dilemma for the DM's position. Now the DM's position has got a major headache. Because you've got Shadow Striker coming in, pressing forwards. Who is he going to mark, right? So the DM DM is in trouble. Okay, so this is tactic is sorted. Right? That's not enough idle chit chat. <laughs> okay, we got a tactic. So what do we do? Pressing forward, Shadow Striker, inside forward, inside forward, bam, 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 Mazala. Okay, it works, right? So you can get a, okay. What if you don't have a player who can play Mazala? Mazala, Mazalas are pretty standard players, right? Okay. Uh, what you want to look for is the most important thing you want to look for is this. They need about ten to twelve in flair. Okay, they need off the ball. Well, oh, this guy needs passing. This guy's vicious. This guy's a hell of a Mazala man. Uh, okay, he's good. So basically, you can tell from here as well. Like, is he's four stars? Okay. Three or four stars should be fine if they have the if this shows the his role ability versus the rest of your team. Okay. So we can actually come in here and then you can like if you okay, even a roaming playmaker works here, right? You can even go roaming playmaker here with uh with a CM on defense if you don't have a Mazala, right? But what you want is a role there that moves, right? You, you don't want to use a DLP. Okay. You want to use a either a roaming playmaker, central midfielder on support, or a Mazala. I wouldn't use a Carrillo because they are very um they they're not very dynamic. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Well, I hope you found that useful. Um and if you want to take part in any of these uh live streams, you want to bring in your tactics or you just want to hang around, you can always come down to Dalgis Moments links are below. Uh give me a shout, bring in your tactics. It happens every Wednesday and I can't wait to Try out other people's tactics as well. Yep. With saves, I have absolutely no clue about. So thanks for joining me today. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.